So this is Hashbang TV coming from Droidcon London 2012 and we're now joined by Rainer from Space Tech Cap. Welcome. Thanks for coming to talk to us. Um, So what is Space Tech Capital and uh, what's the project that you're working on and why are you at Droidcon? Well, uh, Space Tech Capital is an advisory and financing company based in Munich and in Brussels on the continent. We're here over in London uh, for a second time actually. Um, to discuss uh, the MobiCap project. The MobiCap project is developing an early stage venture fund and an ecosystem for mobility and mobile solutions. It's backed by the European Union and uh, it will develop in the next two years an early stage fund, as I said. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so if I'm a mobile developer in, in the EU or specifically in the UK, I should be reaching out to you guys to, to find out more about how I can... Uh... Absolutely, we've got downstairs, we've got a stand, we've got a, uh, a web community on the www.mobicap.eu where you can find all that, where coaches can possibly sign up to bring themselves into the game okay. uh, to contribute their services to that and where they can find out what matchmaking events between investors and startups that we're organizing. And we're in the we're now half a year into the project. We have identified roughly where we want to head with, uh, with our service offering. Mm-hmm. Uh, more details will be revealed shortly, probably around uh, Barcelona. Ah, okay. uh, where we, At World Congress? Yes. Yeah, okay. Where we'll be um, discussing more closely what the plan will be for our fund that we're raising. Certainly London here is especially interesting. London is one of the hottest spots, the hottest of the hotspots when it comes to mobility and mobile services. And we have done a detailed analysis on uh, where and what areas could potentially be of interest to us. And as I said, we'll be stay tuned. Okay. Cool. So, so I'm, not, I'm not asking about the amount of money, but just the structure that it's likely to be. So is it going to be a straight cash for equity or is it going to be like uh, we see a lot of uh, incubator accelerator programs where you know, you're know you forced to go to a certain place and go through a program? Is it, is it just a straight cash for equity or is it somewhere in between? Well, what's, the, what's the model? More the, uh, more the cash equity okay. part of it. Uh, we do clearly see the trend of the proprietary in-house coaching all-in-one house uh, scenes that are developing. We are investigating whether we can work with these guys uh, somehow. Yeah. And possibly we are complementary to that. Yes. But certainly our coaching and service offering is probably helping a lot of the more traditional incubators, the more traditional uh, facilities that are out there to bring them into the mobile age. And this is where we're positioning ourselves primarily. We're also positioning ourselves to co-invest with uh, existing public and near public funds. Okay. We do see that there is a lot of public funds available, but many of them are constrained by the fact that they need a co-investor. Yeah. They need some private investor to to enable this investment to practically do the commercial due diligence for them. Yeah, yeah. And I think we see a big opportunity in many places in Europe for that. Yeah, and okay. you make it more liquid if you're exactly. the co- Yeah, that would be fantastic. So, so is there any kind of criteria for the companies that can apply for the fund? You know, do they have to be a certain age or have if they've raised capital before? Is there any kind of criteria that people should be I mean, aware we're, of? We're focusing mainly on early stage companies. Yep. So naturally, we will face that the teams tend to be not 100% complete. Yeah. But they need to be able to articulate themselves on a few pages and with a rough business plan that we can get an impression on whether the team has the potential because the rule will be the same. Investment criteria one is team, investment criteria two is team, and investment criteria three is theme. Right. We're screwed then. There's, there's some advice there, it's about teams. <laughs> we better yeah. not do a startup. No, no, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no seriously. Um, so I think there, those are the, the, key, the key criteria uh, that always apply in, in venture capital yeah. related matters. Yeah. But we're also looking at uh, helping companies early to identify if they're not venture capital, to tell them straight, not to give them rose-colored glasses and waste their time and waste time of other VCs. Yeah. There are other ways of building a solid service company mm. where even a bank might be interested <coughs> to help you as long as you're, you're serious about yourself and don't dream of becoming the next Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so with it being an EU project, is there a focus on kind of... Uh, public services companies or applications or it can be pretty much anything not at all I think it's uh, I mean we got partially funded it's a private initiative but we got partially funded from the innovation unit of the European Commission 
Um, here we uh, get the support to really build the sector, help the sector uh, grow. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll help in different ways in hotspots like in London and in other hotspots which are not quite as urban and as metropolitan. It might be slightly different, but yeah. definitely private companies and helping to bring more investment into this sector because yeah. there's clearly a funding gap in the mobile sector. Yeah. I mean, we hear about, and when you talk about Europe, we hear a lot about London, we hear a lot about Berlin. Uh, anywhere else that you see as it being a hotspot for kind of mobile developers? Well, we're certainly we're certainly interested in some areas in Eastern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Some cities have been mentioned before. I think I'm not going to uh, reveal it right now. Scandinavia has a few interesting spaces. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, surprise it or not, I think in Southern Europe there are also the one or the other spaces. They're more specialized in certain areas, yeah. like maybe gaming, maybe tourism-related stuff. Yeah. But I think there is there's quite a few things that you can look at. Okay. What you need to look after is uh, here in, in the mobile space, you have a lot of virtual companies also. You have companies that have their core and their seed somewhere, yeah. but the developer team is all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I think yeah. location is always... It and is that always okay? Does the, does, does, does the company have to have all their employees inside the EU to qualify? Or can you have a, a disparate team across, say, development in India or somewhere like that? We're not far. We're not quite as far as defining that one yet. Okay. But ultimately, the investment criteria will be based. It has to be a European company in an yeah. EU member state. Yeah. So, hoping that the UK is still part of the EU. <laughs> <laughs> I think that decision's out of our hands. But, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we should be the guys. We should be the guys making that decision. Should we? Yeah. That'd be dangerous. Yeah. Ash bang for prime minister. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so too. Um, cool. So, so why are you at Joycon just to build awareness and? and to get developers to start checking out the website and applying for the program? I think the DroidCon is a great occasion to really meet startups firsthand, yeah. Yeah, meet developers who are not companies yet, but also meeting many people who form part of the ecosystem. People like yourself who yeah. are journalists in the field, uh, people who can spread the word, who help and are connecting notes. Ultimately, it's a connecting business. Yeah. It's a fair like many, it's a fair like other exhibitions. Uh -huh. But it's certainly a very special one. Yeah, and it's Europe-wide. I think the Android community has always sort of crossed boundaries. It's never been a UK thing. It's, you know, people from all over that, that come to Droicon London. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a good initiative. Well, we met people from, from as far as Israel yeah. Yeah. here today. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot more Germans than I would have ever expected. Really? So, I think it's quite an interesting mix you have. Oh. Excellent. Good stuff. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for... Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Thank good you. luck. Okay, bye.